Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Otter AI and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you link or connect your Zoom to your Otter AI? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to link your Zoom to Otter AI anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that Otter AI can join these meetings and take notes and condense those notes. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Otter AI account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instruction there as well. But I've already logged into my Otter AI and this is the home screen. Now, in order to link or connect your Zoom to Otter AI here on the left menu, you want to click right here on the apps button. Okay, once you do that, you're going to see all the apps that you can connect to your Otter AI. So you just want to scroll down until you see Zoom and click on the blue add button. Okay, next Zoom opens up a browser and you need to sign into your Zoom account with your email address and your password. So I'm gonna do that off screen. Okay, I entered in my email, I'm gonna click sign in. Okay, next Zoom is going to let you know Otter AI is requesting all of this information. If you're okay with that, click on this little check mark right here and allow permission and then click on allow. Okay, a quick second later, the page refreshes into Otter AI. And as you can see, my email address for Zoom is connected to my Otter AI. You can see it says disconnect right here and my email is showing right here. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to link or connect your Zoom to your Otter AI, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.